girls, Zoe here from curlsandthecity.com. I hope you're all doing well. Wanted to come to you with a quick tutorial about how I created this tapered fro wash and go. Now, um, a quick disclaimer, I think that I am growing out my hair. I haven't decided for sure yet, but right now I'm really focused on products that are moisture rich and give me like intensive conditioning to make sure my hair is as moisturized and as manageable as possible. Um, to aid in the grow up process if I feel like it. So um, I'm trying some new products out by, that were sent to me by the great folks at Beautiful Textures. Um, if you know, if you've been following this channel for any time now, the very first wash and go tutorial I did was with Beautiful Textures products and I love the results. So they sent me some new products that they just launched to um, review. So uh, the first product that I tried, well I actually combined these two products. It's the uh, Moisture Rich Whipped Curl Cream and the Curl definer mousse and both of these products together did uh, a really great job on my wash and go as you can see um, and I just really loved how they're both about um, helping me get soft and defined curls but also about you know really um, uh, nourished and conditioned and uh, you know moisturized hair so take a look at the tutorial and um, if you like it hope these products work for you talk to you soon so I start the process by deep conditioning my hair. I was just coming out of a protective style of braids, so it's really important for me to deep condition my hair. And I use the Beautiful Textures Rapid Repair Deep Conditioner and sat under the dryer for about 15 minutes. So after I got out of the shower, finished rinsing out the conditioner, I took the Curl Definer Mousse and I paired it with the Moisture Butter Whipped Curl Cream. And I take a little bit of the Whipped Curl Cream, about a dime size amount, and then I do two pumps of the curl definer mousse for the sides and the back of my hair where my hair is short. I rub my hands together and I'm just going to start raking it through my hair. I really liked how these two products work together as a cocktail. I typically wouldn't think to pair a uh, mousse with a butter cream of sort. But they worked really well together as I'm focusing on possibly growing up my hair. I want to make sure my hair is healthy and as nourished as possible. And the moisture butter really made sure I had the hydration and the moisture that I needed. And then the curl definer mousse did exactly what it said and it helped define my curls. So I'm really enjoying these two together as a cocktail. And um, together the, my hair still feels soft and it doesn't feel hard but it feels moisturized and nourished so I'm really loving that. So I'm just going to continue this process all around the sides and the back of my hair and then as I get to the front of my hair I'm going to repeat the same process but with just a little bit more product. I'm going to take about a quarter size of the moisture butter and I'm going to do three pumps of the curl definer mousse because my hair is a little longer so I want to make sure I'm coating all the strands. Same process, rubbing my hands together to mix the product together um, and then just breaking the product through my hair making sure all the strands are covered. Uh, the raking really helps to define my curls. Uh, if I didn't rake, I, the more that I rake I find the more that I get the, def the, the, def the definition that I'm looking for. So I just continue that all over the front of my hair. I'm going to go on to the second layer and just continue doing that, raking the product through my hair. And if I get some of the product on, some of the hair I already raked through, it's okay. It just helps kind of help the curls to clump together a little bit more. So I'm just going to continue doing that all over. And then after I finish putting all the product in, I'm going to just shake my hair to help the curls clump a little bit more. I shake a lot more than that. That's just an example. And um, just making sure I have full coverage on the product before I start the diffusing process. Here's my old janky 
diffuser attachment, excuse me, <laughs> excuse the, the how old it is, but um, my diffuser is really essential to making sure that um, I get the height and the body and volume that I'm looking for. So I diffuse all over my head and then um, about after all my hair is dry, I take the diffuser attachment off and I just blow out the roots and this helps to just um, give my hair a little bit more lift this is me just kind of, um, actually I have a pick in my hand, you can't see it yet, but I'm kind of just picking out the roots to give my hair even more lift at the roots. And I'm going to do that a little bit all over just to give my hair that final shape that I'm looking for. And I wait to pick it out until my hair is completely dry because if I do it when it's still a little damp, it kind of will ruin the curls and I'm not looking for that. So this is the final result. I hope you enjoyed this video, ladies. If you like the products, go out and check out Beautiful Textures and check out my blog, curlsandthecity.com, for more content. I hope this was helpful. Thanks so much for watching.